Rwanda's natural environment is under threat. With a fast-growing population dependent on subsistence agriculture, the land is rapidly becoming degraded. Alex Melissa from the Rwandan Environment Management Authority is traveling to Kenya to investigate how these damaged ecosystems might be restored. He's meeting Dr. Rene Haller, who has pioneered research in this area. Transforming a barren disused cement quarry into a lush green oasis. The basic thing was I saw that I have a, a jigsaw puzzle, but most of the pieces were missing. The most important thing is to, as fast as possible, get vegetations, uh, vegetation to grow. And that can be done in, in very adverse areas. What I did was actually just giving it nature a helping hand. His work was inspired by an unlikely creature, the red-legged millipede. This decomposes the leaves of the casuarina tree, creating humus and eventually generating fertile soil. So then we introduced them into the quarry, but after a very short time, we had actually had then, uh, they established themselves very well. And now in the best parts, uh, where the soil is not washed off, we had up to 10 centimeters of, of humus on top. Dr. Haller's work has shown that it is possible to restore soil fertility in even the most hostile environments. He's also managed to re-establish astonishing biodiversity. Uh, what happened now, there's hardly a place in these quarries down there which has no vegetation. There's grass, there's trees, everything. 1,000 hectares being rehabilitated from a bare uh, non-soil areas um, is to us brings some hope that uh, there, is, there is something that can be done for Rwandan soils. Over the years, Dr. Haller has demonstrated how the principles of ecosystem restoration can help small farmers like those in Rwanda. He's researched tire gardens and biogas generation. We started with a little biogas system on the other side, that's mm -hmm. experimental, right. uh, with, with, with the drums, which right. are very simple. And then we had the next one, was then the biogas system, which we have uh, tubes. Right. That's why we all go for things which, we, which the farmers can do themselves, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Because we found not everybody has got cows or manures, you know, uh, mm -hmm. but, but they, have, um, they have got vegetation, right. which mm -hmm. they can use then. Dr. Haller's ideas utilize the huge variety of resources the natural world provides. Flora, fauna, and even fish contribute towards rebuilding rich ecosystems. That's okay. our fish nursery. There's actually the big fish, right. and then the small fish, they, they come, come in here. And then what is very interesting, because the, the fish fecal matter is the best fertilizer you can get. For Alex, this work is very inspiring. At the Hora Park, I have seen ecosystem rehabilitation take place actually from initial conditions that are much worse than what we would be dealing with in Rwanda. Uh, Never before has it come out so clearly to me that actually large-scale ecosystem rehabilitation on a national scope is possible. 